Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Well, it's still VEDA time, video every day for the month of April, but we're coming down to the last few days and uh, I've made it so far. Uh, today I wanted to mention a book I just started called The Habits of Grace by David Mathis. As you know, I finished financial peace class last week, so women's group I'm in started Habits of Grace this week. And it's about basically building relationship with God and how to do it. Again, I just started it, but something caught my eye in one of the first few chapters, and it was about reading the Bible. And I've been kind of concerned that I'm reading the Bible on a very surface level. Uh, it's my first time through it. But in the book, the author, David Mathis, said to look at it in terms of raking and digging. And I really like that. I'm in the raking leaves mode of reading right now. It's kind of staying at the top level, going from front to back, getting a feel for how it all fits together. And he says that's a critical part of the process, just like it is in your yard. You're not going to start digging up the beds and until you really get a feel for the landscape. And so I don't feel so guilty about reading it through and not digging deep. He goes on to say, truly the diamonds are found when you dig deep. But in reading the Bible, there is a process for the breadth and a process for the depth. By reading it all the way through, I really see more how it all fits together and how the Old Testament is referenced in the New Testament. And I'm seeing phrases that I've heard all my life, stories I've heard of all my life, some of which I kind of thought were made up. It turns out they weren't. Uh, but I'm understanding the stories better. I'm understanding phrases and sayings my mom and dad used for years. I now see where they came from in the Bible. So that's kind of fun, but it made me feel less guilty about the fact I'm still on my spreadsheet and marking off the chapters I'm reading and kind of feeling that was a little too head instead of heart. But after reading one of his first chapters, raking the leaves is totally okay and an important part of the process. So that's it for today. Don't know if you're raking or digging in your Bible view, but let me know in the comments. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.